This is Malik Hook from the University of Colorado with a new edition of One Slide in Five Minutes. The topic today is long anterior zonules. Long anterior zonules are characterized by zonular fibers that extend more centrally than usual on the anterior lens capsule. The insertion is typically greater than two millimeters onto the surface of the anterior capsule relative to the equator of the lens. It was postulated by Vogt to be remnants of the tunica vasculosa lentis due to the presence of persistent pupillary membranes in some eyes with LAZ. LAZ-associated pigment dispersion can have some of the typical findings of pigment dispersion syndrome and pigment dispersion glaucoma, such as case spindles and heavily pigmented trabecular meshwork. It can also be associated with higher IOP compared to eyes without LAZ. This process is also potentially associated with higher risk of angle closure with shallow anterior chambers and thicker lenses than usual. One variety is associated with age greater than 50, female sex, hyperopia, shorter axial length, and persistent pupillary membrane iris strands. There's also a genetic association with a serine to arginine substitution that is also associated with late onset retinal degeneration. Zonular cutting can occur during creation of a capsular excess at the time of cataract surgery. This occurs when the leading edge of the capsular excess runs into an anterior placed zonule. This can lead to creation of a smaller capsular excess than is usual with all of the potential complications that can result downstream from that. You can see here in the photo pigmentation of the zonular fibers along the aspect that is closer to the equator of the lens. You can also see some of the faint longer zonules here that have less pigmentation on them. And here's a better photo to show you greater extension of these zonules onto the anterior lens capsule. Normal should end right around here, which would be about 1.5 to 2 millimeters from the equator of the lens. But you can see many of these zonules extend much further than that which would compromise creation of a capsular excess in the zonule free zone, which in this case is much smaller than what you would typically expect. In summary, patients with long anterior zonules should be examined and monitored for glaucoma and retinal degeneration with added precautions taken during cataract surgery due to the potential of complications at the time of creation of the capsular excess. I invite you to visit keogt.com for further educational material. You can also visit YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram for more educational content. Thank you very much.